This is the Lenovo Tab M8 FHD, and there are a lot of flaws in this tablet, but why do I like this tablet so much? And I'm going to tell you exactly why. So starting with build quality, this thing is metal on the back, plastic on the top and the bottom, and then, you know, just glass on the front, as you would expect from basically any tablet. Um, it feels okay, it doesn't feel super premium or anything. I will say that the one thing that kind of sucks about this tablet, um, I guess not about this tablet, but in general, when you're combining something like metal and glass, is that when you're holding it kind of like this, um, the back of your hand starts sweating, which causes your thumb to start sweating, which basically causes your finger to catch really easily on the glass so it doesn't glide as smoothly as possible. I don't like that. Um, I actually bought a matte screen protector for this tablet that way it didn't give me that kind of problems just because I really don't like when you're trying to here when you're trying to read comics for example let's say I'm reading um, one um, one punch man and I'm trying to like uh, swipe and then it's kind of sticky and it just kind of sucks especially when your hands start sweating so I bought a matte screen protector for that that's just one area that I don't like about this the rest of it is actually okay um i will say that my hands are fairly small um you, you can't really tell from the video but um when i'm carrying it i kind of like carrying my tablets you know kind of like this with my fingers wrapped around it and my hands are not big enough so i usually have to carry it like this which feels a little bit less safe to me because i'm kind of afraid of dropping the tablet so that's another thing as well it's not really a pro or a con it's just an observation Big hands, you're good. Small hands, not so good. And I would say most most guys' hands are bigger than mine. Okay, so I've talked a little bit about the um, display, or sorry, not the display, the uh, build quality of the tablet. Um, overall, I'll have to say I'm a little bit unsatisfied with it just because of how easily my hand sweats when I'm holding it as compared to holding a metal. Okay, moving on to the screen of the device again. IPS LCD, it's not AMOLED. It has a resolution of about um, 1920 by 1200. So it's actually a pretty good resolution. It's not quite Surface Pro level, just because Surface Pro level is gonna be 2560 by 1440, which has a pretty high pixel density, but I'm perfectly satisfied with this. For example, I'm reading comics. Everything looks pretty good. Let me just go to something colorful. Uh... So we go to Asterix and Obelix, then we should be good because there's a lot of color in there. So for example, if I went to Asterix the Gull and we took a look at the color. Oh right, I forgot. I can't open these. That's annoying. Um anyway, uh let me show you color in some other place then. Uh yeah, the the color here is okay. Uh I will say that I don't really have much of a um I don't have much or many complaints about the color here. Um, my cell phone is actually an AMOLED display, so I'm kind of used to that. Um, the color here is a little bit, a little bit more washed out, but it's really nothing that's super bad. So um, it's definitely good. For example, you're looking at this and you're looking at Tales of Demons and Gods, the uh, manga. It looks good. Um, again, yeah, no complaints. I will say that the although I have no complaints about the color, the one area I do have complaints about is gonna be the maximum brightness. So max brightness, that's your max brightness. And I'm in a room right now. Granted, my recording room is a little bit brighter than most other rooms. It's perfectly viewable indoors, but outdoors, not so much because in um, outdoors, you really can't see this very well. And you got glare here, watch this. See that? See how much glare there is in there? So a matte screen protector again would help a lot with that. Okay, last thing I want to talk about with regards to the screen is going to be the touch sensitivity. And this one's in a little, little bit of a weird place. It's not horrible. It's not amazing. Um, it's like one step below very, very good. So for example, my Xiaomi Mi 8. Um, this one has great touch sensitivity as most other flagship phones. This one is a touch below that. So it's still good, but it's just not as good. Um, so... Um, that again might have something to do with the stickiness of the display when my hands are sweaty. So if I'm like swiping or stuff like that, and then my hand, you know, skips because of the sweat, that could be it. But again, touch sensitivity, I'm mostly okay with that. Okay, moving on to audio. 
Uh, I've showed you guys um, adventures before the uh, audio sound. So now I'll show you this one again. The thing about this is that there's like zero bass. So I'm just going to play this and you guys can listen to it. Bass drop in three, two, one. I'll say it's barely passable in terms of the bass. Uh, the rest of the audio is again, it's it's really whatever. Um, when I'm watching, like it's it's okay for you know if I'm watching Brooklyn Nine Nine or something like that, audio is fine. But if I'm watching something else, like something with a lot of bass, then you're not gonna want to watch this without headphones because bass is really not there. Um, yeah, so on this you just have one forward firing speaker that's gonna be on the top of the tablet and yeah, that's basically it All right, so so far we've talked about the build quality the sound and the display so far None of them have really been that outstanding here. So um, what is it about this that I like so much? Well, unfortunately the next part about this I'm gonna talk about is the software which Again, not outstanding. Speed is a little bit slow. So I'll, sh um, I'll just show you what version of Android we have. And let's go here. And here we have Android 9. So actually, I, I don't know how to get to the, to the, um, to the nest or that like a uh, egg thing or something like that. Anyway, um, yeah, not fast at all. You got your MediaTek Helio P22T. 4 gigs, 64 gigs, and a 1920 by 1200 resolution. Speed-wise, it's really nothing special. Um, in fact, the Android unit I have in my car is actually a little bit faster than this, which is surprising considering the uh, CPU for my Android uh, head unit is like from 2017. Actually, this should be about the same. Um, so in terms of like swiping and stuff like that, it's not good. As you can see, there's like a little bit of lag when you're swiping to Google now, when you're swiping up, it's okay. Um, swiping down, it's it's a little bit jumpy, put it that way. Um, so the single core performance on the MediaTek Helio P22 is really not that great, which is one of the reasons why this thing is so slow when you're swiping. It actually gets better when you're launching apps. Um, for example, you're launching Chrome, I mean, that was that was decent put it that way there was decent um, it's still not super fast but it was you know passable um, let me launch something else to let you guys see let's say I launch YouTube oh, actually, they already had that open let's let's launch YouTube by itself like the, the original YouTube app and yeah you can see that was that was whatever it wasn't that fast either um, let's see Candy Crush I mean, I can live with that kind of speed, um, but again, it's it's not super fast. Okay, uh, before we move on to you know the rest of the tablet, I want to talk about the one area of the tablet that is the reason why I like it so much, even though the rest of the tablet really isn't that great, and that's gonna be battery life. The battery life on this thing is insane. I I was this was completely out of left field. I did not expect the battery life to be this good at all. Um, um, I think yesterday I used it for I think 10 hours it was a mix of manga so not super intense but yeah so manga as well as Candy Crush I think it was oh that's loud it's like very loud oh. sorry yeah so mix of manga and Candy Crush I think it was uh, seven hours of manga three hours of Candy Crush and I was at like 22 percent so again Completely out of left field, did not expect the battery life to be that great. And again, that's probably the reason why I'm not completely bashing this tablet at this point. Because um, if the battery life on this was bad, I would have just told you guys not to buy it. But the battery life here is amazing. So, so good. So much that I, that I that's one of the reasons why I like it. Okay, moving on. Um, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi both work. Um, they're... I didn't see any issues with them in terms of reception and range. Um, the location though, I didn't really try it out that much because I don't really do location on a tablet. 
Um, but if you do, uh, yeah, I probably should have tested it out. Sorry about that. Okay. Moving on to gaming. So I think I played for you guys Asphalt Extreme already, but I'll play it one more time. I'll, I'll, I'll use a different racetrack this time, so it's a bit more interesting. But again, with gaming, it's it's actually um, good because um, the MediaTek Helio P22T, I don't know why that popped up again. The Helio P22T actually is a fairly decent chip for gaming it's just really bad for like um swiping around in your home screen so okay all right let's go again i've never i've never really been a huge gamer um i basically play games to test them out on the tablets and then i go game on my real computer pc master race okay uh but yeah i've i've tested enough of these devices that i basically know how well a thing should perform because i think i've tested probably 100, 150 phones, tablets, laptops at this point. So, um, like I said before in the unboxing, this thing works pretty well for games. Um, 1920 by 1200 resolution. Um, again, Asphalt is a very, it's a very, oh crap, I died. It's a very um, well optimized game. So, you don't need super powerful hardware to play it, um, which is the same for a lot of crap. Which is the same for a lot of games, actually. Um, just because the developers have to cater to such a wide audience of devices. And that makes it difficult for them to... Um, it, sorry, it's really hard to talk and game at the same time. So that's why they have to make sure that the games work on from low-end to high-end devices. So, uh, yeah, if you want a game, you won't have a problem um, um, in this case. So, yeah. Okay, let's move on to a PUBG. Oh, no, sorry, not PUBG. Candy Crush. <laughs> Candy Crush. Okay, whatever. Claim prize. Let's go. Let's go. And as you can see, Candy Crush works very well. And it's also super addicting. Um, very, very addicting. I think I weaned myself off Candy Crush for a while, and then, and then it just came back with a vengeance. Absolutely couldn't believe it. But yeah, but as you can see, it works well. So yeah, no complaints there. Okay, finally talking about the camera on this thing. Ugh, I don't get why tablet manufacturers still put cameras in their tablets. It's stupid and it's just bad quality. Both the front and the back camera. Oh my goodness, it's so so bad. I I couldn't believe it. Um. I remember seeing advertisements on Lenovo's website for this tablet and they said, oh, our camera's so good. And then I looked at the pictures I took and I was like, nah, man, you guys still got a long way to go on this. Okay, all right, guys, that was pretty much it for the review of the Lenovo Tab M8. I'm trying to remember if I missed anything and I actually do remember, I did miss something. Charging this tablet takes forever with the included charger. Um, I don't think fast charge actually I don't think this thing supports fast charge um, and that micro USB port. Oh my goodness. I think it took like two and a half to three hours to completely charge this thing up, which is pretty bad. But then again, this thing is not that expensive of a tablet. Do I recommend this tablet? Uh, that's hard to say because for myself, I love it. I mainly use it to read comics and read manga and the long battery life is a huge feature on this, like a huge feature but just because if, if you're sitting there reading, you don't want to be charging every five, six hours. This thing, you can read the whole day and, and you'll probably be okay. Um, remember I said it, um, I used it for 10 hours, seven hours manga, three hours um, Candy Crush. You could probably use this for 11, 12 hours straight of reading manga, reading comics, or even reading books. So if you're, okay, if you're using, if you want to buy a tablet for reading manga and comics, yes, you get this because you don't need a fast tablet. You, you don't need a great tablet, you need a tablet with a decent screen and good battery life, and this thing has both of those. If you want it for gaming, um, eh, I don't know. I would say no, just because this thing isn't the most powerful gamer, um, I'm sorry, gaming tablet, and at the same time, you probably want to get um, like a tablet with a, um, with a more powerful processor, put it that way. All right, that's it for this review. I hope you guys liked it, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.